What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over five holiday keyword research and content creation best practices so that you are able to take advantage of that excess demand that happens during the holiday season when everyone has their wallets out and everyone's trying to purchase all the products they can for Christmas. So what we're going to be doing is going through some of these different tips here and I'm going to show you how to build a keyword list for your website so that you can have some idea of the different content that you're going to be creating. You have pages on your website where that content already exists and where you can improve it. And then I'm going to be showing you a few different keyword research tools, all completely free tools. We'll use the Google search console. We will use tools like Suvel. We'll use tools like keywords everywhere. And I'm going to show you how to find a variety of keywords so that you can rank above your competitors this holiday season. And you could take advantage of some of the different keywords people are searching specifically during the holiday season. So what we're going to do first is we're going to come in here to the Google keyword planner. Now, before I get started in the keyword planner, keep in mind, you want to start immediately so you can improve your results. So you don't want to start right at December 1st. You want to start several months early. So for my specific website, beachfrontdecor.com, I'm going to be looking up some different Christmas keywords that I know people are going to be searching for types of beach Christmas decor. So I'm going to be trying to find all of the long tail keywords that I can target so I can take advantage of people who are looking for gifts, decorations, anything like that during the holiday season. So we're going to start here. We have you want to start early. And number two, let's build our holiday keyword list. So we'll start in the Google Keyword Planner. And I like to do a lot of my keyword research manually. So if we come over here, so this is the search console. If we come over here to our Google Ads account. If you don't have a free Google Ads account, you can create one and then that will allow you to, if you go to tools and settings, you can go to planning and open the keyword planner and that's gonna allow you to discover new keywords for your business. So we're gonna click on discover new keywords and you wanna enter some of the most closely related keywords for your business. Now there's two different options here. For me, I'm going to be looking up and trying to find keywords related to beach Christmas decorations and some other related keywords as well. Okay, we'll start with these four keywords and all we're gonna do is enter those four keywords and click on get results. So that's gonna give us a huge list of keywords. Now you can see this is grouped view, but what we can do is go to keyword view. Yours might automatically default to keyword view, but the first thing we're gonna see right here is the search demand. So it goes up a little bit in September. You can see it starts to raise as you get into July, August, September, but it really jumps in October. And then there's a huge jump in November and December stays popular as well. So we're really trying to optimize for probably the middle of October around here through December. So that's what we're trying to optimize for. So we wanna get our pages created. We want everything to be live on our website so we can start sharing those pages on social media. So we can try to take advantage of every piece of traffic that we can get. So in the Google Keyword Planner, when you enter your keywords, you're gonna get a list of keywords just like this. They're gonna rank them by relevance, but a lot of times what I like to do is look at average monthly searches and then what I generally do is I just pull some of these keywords out. So you can see beach Christmas tree, beach Christmas ornaments, sand snowman. So I can go through and look at some of these different keywords here, nautical Christmas ornaments, coastal Christmas wreath, and I'm gonna open up Microsoft Excel. And basically for mine, I have three different keywords here, beach, coastal, nautical. I'm gonna focus on beach, but I can create these same types of pages for beach, for coastal, for nautical. Now beach and coastal are very much synonyms and nautical is very similar too. So it's always a, a tough thing to figure out which pages I should create separately, which ones I should keep together. I actually have one main page for nautical beach Christmas decorations. So what we're starting with here at the top is beach coastal nautical Christmas decor. That's our main keyword we wanna optimize for. So we're gonna create a pillar page. So a pillar page means it's a page that will link to all of these different content ideas that we're going to be creating. So on my pillar page, when people look for beach Christmas decor, what they can do is actually look at some of these different subcategories. So essentially what we're trying to do is take our main keyword and come up with subcategories. And that's what I've done here. Beach Christmas ornaments, beach Christmas trees, wreaths, tree toppers. So if I come back over here to the Google Keyword Planner, you're gonna see all of these different keywords that we can optimize for. And I've gone through and I've already pulled out a lot of the most popular ones that I can create pages for on my website. And what I can do here is come up with some different content ideas for these keywords as well. 
So I'll go over that in a few steps, but starting with our keyword list, what I like to do is use tools such as the Google Keyword Planner. I like using Answer the Public. For this specific example, it doesn't work that well, but Answer the Public will give you a ton of different ideas, questions, prepositions, comparisons, alphabeticals. I really like the alphabeticals because you get a list of different keywords here. And what I can do is come to C, Beach Christmas Cards. Okay, that's something I can optimize for. If I keep coming down here, let's use F. So Beach Christmas Fabric, that's something that I could sell. Beach Christmas Flags, that's something that I could sell. If I go to D, Beach Christmas Decor, that's obviously our main keyword. And then we have Dinnerware, Dishes, Doormat. Now there's gonna be other keywords here, Beach Christmas Destinations, not relevant for my brand, so I'm not gonna optimize for it. Now two more tools that I love, Suvel.com. This is one of the best keyword tools. And all you have to do is come here, enter, your seed keyword so beach Christmas is what I'm using here because if I do decor I'm not gonna get the best results so what we're doing is we're just doing beach Christmas and what you can see here is they give us the autocomplete results from Google from Amazon from Yahoo from Bing from YouTube and from answers so if we just look at the Bing list here you can see I have a ton of different ideas and I've taken a lot of these ideas and I've put them on my keyword list now keep in mind your keyword list doesn't need to be 500 keywords long what you need to do is be realistic about the amount of content that you can create before the holiday season so you can take advantage of some of this traffic so focus on the most popular keywords try to look for some different long tail keywords such like a beach sea glass christmas tree so that's a good long tail keyword that a lot of websites are not optimizing for who might be optimizing for some of these other keywords here so beach nutcrackers santa decorations so what we can do is start with this keyword list and then continue to expand it to more and more long tail keywords and we're going to link our pillar page to all of these different cluster pages so when someone is searching for beach christmas decor we want search engines to say okay this is a great resource because they have a ton of subcategories here so let's come back over here to our keyword tools last but not least keywordseverywhere.com they have a paid version but the completely free version if you install it for Chrome or Firefox, all you need to do is go to Google, enter your keyword, and over here on the right-hand side, you're gonna see some trend data, so you'll see how it has trended over time, and then as we continue to scroll down, you're gonna see related keywords, keep coming down, people also search for, and then this is what I really like, long tail keywords. So we can find a lot of different ideas in the long tail keywords, and you can get a ton of different ideas just by simply going to Google and searching your keywords. So we should be able to just using these four tools, coming back over here, build a holiday keyword list. And then as we start to search for some of our different keywords, understand what ranks for your keywords. This is an important step that a lot of people skip. So if we come back over here, we're searching beach Christmas. So I'm looking at right here, the all under Google. And then what we can also do is look under videos. So if I start here with videos, you can see something like this dollar tree coastal Christmas DIYs. This is a great idea for a video. So I could easily say, here are some different DIY coastal Christmas crafts you can create affordable. So you can try to use some of these different ideas that people are already using and just update some of this content. So how to decorate for a coastal beach themed Christmas. So if we keep coming down, you just wanna find some of these different ideas that you can actually incorporate on your own YouTube channel and on your website. So nine new Christmas DIYs, coastal beach fun, Dollar Tree. So some different ideas as you go and look at what your competitors are doing. And then the other thing you can do is when you're searching your keyword, see what ranks. So you're right here, it starts with images. So we can make sure that we have some really good beach images on our website, because hopefully we can get some of them to rank. We could drive traffic that way. And then clicking on some of these different brands that are already ranking high. Obviously it's gonna be hard for me to rank above Amazon and Etsy, but you can still look at Amazon, Etsy, so I've also Wayfair ranks high for these as well. And we can look at what types of pages rank. So this is Coastal Christmas Decorations, 301 results. So if I wanna to try to rank above websites like Wayfair, above websites like Amazon, I have to do my best to create better content to them, which is very, very difficult. So what you're probably better off doing is searching some of these long tail keywords, beach Christmas tree toppers, and then right here, completelycoastal.com, one of my main competitors. So if you see here, coastal Christmas tree topper ideas, DIY and shop. So if we open up the page, what I can do is look at the types of content that they're creating. They have a bunch of different tree topper designs and they link out to all of these different 
designs so people can find these different products and potentially purchase them so if you see here they have different links some of them link are internal links to other pages on their website some of them are external affiliate links so this is a really good article and it probably drives revenue for this business so nautical aluminum tree toppers this probably goes to an affiliate as we keep coming down we can look up some of these different products this whale sculpture fig figurine i can see is actually an internal link so what you want to do if we come back over here understand what ranks for your keywords and use ideas from your competitors i if we come back over to my keyword list i don't have any page on my website for christmas tree toppers so if we come back to google and we go back to our search beach christmas tree toppers if i keep scrolling down you can see i do rank here 25 plus beach christmas tree ideas so this page shows a bunch of designs links out to some of these different designs they all go to external websites so what i can do is create a separate page on my website so that i have a page for beach christmas tree toppers and try to do something better than my competitor so that's where number five comes in create the best content for your keywords so if we're looking at the overall process of what we're trying to do we're building a holiday keyword list we're understanding what ranks we're going to use some of those different ideas after we start to understand what ranks we're going to incorporate them on our own website and we're going to try to create the best possible content for our keywords now you can create the best content ever you may still not rank at the top of the search engines but i will tell you if you have a good relevant keyword list all of these this short tail keyword led to all of these different long tail keywords we start coming up with different content ideas so what i can do for something for example beach sea glass christmas trees i can do exactly what the other website did so if we come over here and we're looking at this completely coastal.com i could take some of these pictures and if we come over i can link to some different sea glass christmas trees link to those different designs have some sea glass christmas trees on my website use internal linking to link directly to my product pages and then make sure we have that url there and then link that url to our beach christmas decor pillar page where we can also talk about the different beach sea glass christmas trees we have for sale now when i say product listing page i essentially mean the way an e-commerce website looks where we have a huge list of relevant products for these individual keywords that we're targeting so coming back over here the other thing i wanted to go over is my own website this is my pillar page beach christmas decor and nautical christmas decor so we have a little bit of text here and then what you can see is browse this article so this is one way to set up your pillar pages is at the very top you almost have a table of contents and then these are some of the different subcategories so i need to continue to add to my subcategories and if i click on something like beach christmas cards it'll just bring me right down to that spot on the page so there's products here for sale some different relevant beach christmas cards and the other thing is that i am linking to that individual page from this pillar page so these are considered topic clusters so your clusters are going to be these other pages such as our first off 25 beach christmas tree ideas and the other one is going to be beach christmas cards and nautical christmas cards so as we scroll down you can see a bunch of different product listings here so when i come back over this is exactly what we're trying to do you want to start early you want to build your holiday keyword list you need to know what ranks for your keywords you need to know what search engines are looking for and what people are looking for when they do go to search engines looking for or typing in specific keywords what are they looking for what is their keyword search intent are they trying to find products for sale are they trying to find different designs and inspiration it can be kind of difficult depending on what niche you're in and my niche sometimes somebody might be looking up beach christmas trees and they might be looking for artificial trees for sale they might be looking for tree toppers different tree designs they can they can take their existing decorations and use so what i try to do is put together the best possible pages to answer all of those questions so when you're coming up with your keyword list understand search intent and by understanding search intent you can come up with really good content ideas for example something like beach christmas garlands what i can do is have different products listed and then i can also list some different garland designs so use larger images link to some of those different designs and i can also link to individual products on my website like i mentioned earlier now coming back over here just looking at some of the different content i've already created for christmas now you can see posted on december 1st 2021 so it's time for me to update all of my existing pages that's another thing that you want to do as part of your overall content strategy especially around the holiday season 
So we keep scrolling down. We have mermaid Christmas ornaments, 25 plus beach Christmas tree ideas, 34 beach Christmas decorating ideas. So stockings, we have Christmas cards, we have wreaths, we have our, this is our pillar page here. So this is one I absolutely have to make sure I keep updated. We have ornaments here. We have set other types of ornaments. Now this is essentially another topic cluster. Coastal and beach Christmas ornaments. This page links out to all of these other pages as well. Starfish Christmas ornaments, seashell Christmas ornaments, the mermaid Christmas ornaments I had up earlier. So seashell garlands and starfish garlands anchor Christmas ornaments. So you can see I have some of these different products here and a lot of different pages on my website that are all trying to make sure when people are typing and looking up specific products, I have pages on my website that will serve them. So as we come back over here, hopefully this all makes sense and hopefully it will help you get jump started on coming up with your keyword research and content strategy as you start to approach November and December and people have their wallets out and they are going to be purchasing and purchasing all the gifts possible for Christmas. So the last thing I wanna go over is you can also use historical data. This might not apply to you if you don't already have these pages on your website, but use Google Search Console, go back and change the dates. So I'm using custom dates, October 1st, 2021 and December 17th, 2021. Click on apply and then what we wanna do is go to new and we're going to query and we're gonna do containing and just do Christmas. So what we can do is look up what actual search terms drove traffic, drove impressions for our website. We definitely wanna do better than this this year. So we wanna drive more clicks, more impressions this year. We already have a lot of our pages made. So if we scroll down, what we can do is look at our top search terms that are driving clicks and impressions to our website make sure we are optimizing for those search terms because if we were ranking for them last year then there's a good chance we're going to rank for them this year and then we can also look up some of the different pages as well that drove the most clicks and impressions for our website as well so you can see here google has started to prioritize our product category product listing pages so i have this one christmas i wish i had this url a little bit better which it was beach christmas decor but when i set up the website i just made this christmas so i've kept it the same now you can see product category Christmas, beach Christmas cards. Now this other page, beach, beach Christmas tree ideas. We have wreaths, we have stockings, decorations, mermaid Christmas ornaments. So something like mermaid Christmas ornaments, you might not think to make a page targeting a long tail keyword like that, but it can drive you some clicks, it can drive you some sales, and if you do it enough times, it's gonna help lift all your other pages. So keep in mind, as you start creating really high quality content for a lot of different keywords, it's gonna lift your rankings on Google for all of those different keywords. So if we come over here and the last thing we're gonna look at is average position. So some of these that are driving clicks and impressions, you can see our position here. So you can try to optimize for some of these different keywords to make sure you can improve your position and drive more and more traffic in this upcoming year. Make sure your pages are updated. Make sure you're targeting highly relevant keywords related to whether it's gift guides, it depends on what niche you're in. So you can create gift guides now. You can create gift guides for different people. You can say, okay, here's what to get your parents for Christmas. Here's what to get your children for Christmas. Here are, for example, I have a page on my website, 34 Beach Christmas Decorating Ideas. I could also do something like 50 gifts for beach lovers. So I could do things like that to incorporate different types of products for different types of people. And that's ultimately what we're trying to do. Now, again, don't create a massive, massive keyword list. Keep it kind of where this one is right here, and then you can continue to add on to it as you go. And what you're gonna find is as you work on these different pieces of content, you're gonna come up with a lot more ideas because as you start doing things about beach Christmas pillows and garlands, you're gonna come up with other ideas of other pages you can also create. Keep track of your URLs. You can see here, I try to do URLs that I never have to change. So beach Christmas decorating ideas, I can update the title for this article to 100 beach Christmas decorating ideas and it's not gonna change our URL. So we want these URLs to stay exactly the same and we wanna make sure that we continue to update our content so we can use our keyword research and drive more traffic, more revenue for our website. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave it in the comments section. Hopefully this helps you get started and if you haven't started optimizing already, this is a good time to do it. Now a video like this one that I'm creating right now 
is another holiday type of piece of content that works for Surfside PPC. So I can come up with some different holiday types of content for Surfside PPC as well for different things that people might be interested in just during October, November, December. So that's what you're trying to do is make sure you're getting access to all of that demand that might not exist at different times of the year because it can help you drive more and more revenue, especially as other things slow down, whether it's something seasonal from the summer or other times of the year. So again, any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.